Hello Colorado, it's attorney Timothy Dudley here at Johnson Law Group. Today I want to talk about a common question we get from clients, which is, how is custody decided? It's based on a variety of factors, but there are three points that are important to keep in mind. The first is to know that the court looks at custody from the perspective of the child and the child's welfare. And what I mean by that is the court's not looking at it from the parent's perspective, such as what is fair to this parent, fair to that parent, or what does this parent deserve, what does the other parent deserve. Instead, the court is looking at it from the child's perspective, what is best for the child. The second thing to keep in mind is that the court's decision on custody often boils down simply to practical factors. The logistics, parents, how far do they live from each other and their work schedules. If you have a non-traditional work schedule, say you're working nights or weekends, that could present a logistical problem. If you're not able to get the child to school in the mornings, you may not be able to have the child overnight. So it's often just those practical factors that custody comes down to. And the third thing to keep in mind is that the court will always put a child's safety first above all other factors. If the other parent has an addiction or there's been domestic violence, the court has plenty of authority and a high priority to make short-term or long-term solutions to protect the child from those types of issues. So call us today for a free consultation at Johnson Law Group and we can discuss all of your child custody questions. Divorce ends marriages, not families. Call us at 720-445-4444 or visit our website at johnsonlgroup.com.